another amazing morning. These clouds are incredible. It's just past sunrise. You can see the mountains a little bit. And cats are being cute. Hey cats. <laughs> They've both been outside already. I moved my little lantern into the kitchen for some candlelight. There I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Reflective oven stove cover thing. Look at these autumn colours. I wish they were a bit of red, but the yellow is pretty, very pretty as well. It's turning brown. This yellow, these yellow leaves with the morning sunshine is really stunning. Dream. So um, we're trying to uh -oh. unlock this no, no, no. one and, and, and this thing. No, no, no. Okay, it's not working because this chain is uh, getting loose. So no, no, no. I don't think I have the right tool for this, even though I've got all these bits. Like I feel like that would be the right thing, but yeah, we're a bit stuck. Okay, so this is a problem. We're in the chainsaw hospital now. This needs to be, yeah, assembled put back together for a little thing. So we're going to remove these bolts here and fasten this up. So what's the issue? Is it the bolt too tight? And here's the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the chainsaw doctor. <laughs> okay, so that happened really quickly. Chain is back in place. It's not super tight, but it shouldn't be super tight. And yeah, so basically you just loosen or fasten these bolts here, according to this diagram. And then the chain zips back in place. Magic. Now we're gonna apply chain oil, the stuff. Right. So here we go. Gonna pour the chain oil from there. Okay, so this is the last step in our process. We are sharpening, <laughs> by we, obviously, I mean us, I'm just sharpening the blade. So basically, we've put chain oil in there. We fasten the chain back together so that it runs okay. And now we're gonna sharpen the blade. So yeah, it's been quite a mission to get this chainsaw the way it needs to be to chop all of this wood. But luckily Asim knows what he's doing, so that's amazing. Okay, unfortunately this guy has died a death. That's that's a uh, chainsaw blood. Chainsaw blood. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a problem with the chainsaw oil. It just leaks. So, yeah, that's no good. I think this guy needs to be retired, unfortunately. Luckily, we have a backup chainsaw from really, really lovely friends. Thank you so much, friends. So, here we go. This is an electric chainsaw and probably in a much better working condition compared to poor little petrol chainsaw. Yeah, looking good. So here we go. Yeah, really good news. Okay, electric chainsaw also needs sharpening. Oh dear, chainsaw is a bit of a drama today. Anyway, what I'm doing here is sorting out this massive pile into this pile that needs chainsaw work and this pile that's already good for the peshka. This is the trash pile. I'm not going to use, not going to burn that. I'm also taking the blue paint ones out. I'm not going to burn that. So yeah, good progress and uh, learning a lot about chainsaws. Hmm. So this chain keeps on getting loose. It's just hanging off the, I don't know what it's called, like, yeah, as you can see, the chain is loose again. It's a little bit of a thing that 
probably needs to be replaced. I think this thing has definitely seen better days and it needs retiring. So today's the last day of work for him. Poor chainsaw. Bye bye chainsaw. So the blade is so hot he needs to use a glove. He doesn't like using gloves as you can tell. <laughs> but he needs one because the blade is just too hot otherwise. Aston is working really hard. So he's alternating between the two chainsaws. <laughs> Here's Smudgy. Hello. Hello my darling. Meow. Yeah. She says back to work. <laughs> this is my work. Here's my pile of dry weeds. I have just ripped them up from this area here. So it used to look like that. And I've just removed them from here. So it's nice and flat. Yeah, it's flat. It's flat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this area is now weed, sort of weedless. Uh, I'm moving onto that area over there. And this is the end result. Just a nice little pile of dry grass and weeds. It's all very dry, so it's super easy to get off the ground and just get rid of it. I'm going to pile it down there where the other straw is. Smudgy is looking for as much shade as possible. She's so cute. Yeah, it's still really hot. It's super hot. It feels like 30 degrees. Okay, maybe 28 degrees. Let's be realistic. Um, anyway, so let me get on with this dry grass and make it all flat. Such a cute cat. I think I forgot to say why I'm making this flat. <laughs> I'm making it as flat as possible because then I can move the manure over there, over here, give it a nice little ground covering, and then cover it with cardboard and straw, that stuff over there, so that it can look like that area. And um, hopefully regenerate the soil a little bit because the soil has been uh, baked. It's been baked by the sun. The nutrients are gone. Um, there's hardly any earthworms. So I'm hoping to bring it back to life by just layering it. Put some compost, put some cardboard, put some straw. Yeah, give the soil a bit of protection and hopefully it'll come back. And I know it'll come back. Earthworms will come back. The bugs will come back. As soon as a bit of protection from the harsh sun. Smudgy will tell you all about the sun. How hot is the sun, Smudgy? <laughs> hot enough to hide in the shade every single opportunity. That's how hot. Oh my god, yoga time. <laughs> Who's doing yoga? Smudgy is in the shade of a big puzzle. Hey, Smudgy. Smudge, smudge. It's a pretty big puzzle. <laughs> Perfect for Smudgy. What is she watching? What are we watching, huh? There must be all sorts of little critters here that she loves watching and hunting and pouncing and stalking. But it looks like it's time for a nap. <laughs> all right, this is looking really good. I'm still gonna flatten that a little bit over there. Little dead weed forest. But this is looking super good. See? Flat. <laughs> Not flat. Flat. <laughs> and I've put all of the dry grasses over there at the back. Here's the supervisor. She's opted for some wheelbarrow shade. Very, very clever. <laughs> Hello? How's that wheelbarrow shade? Is that good? Yeah, I think all is well. All is very well. <laughs> so we've migrated from the petrol one to the electric. And now look where we're at. We're down to manual. <laughs> and that is how the story has gone today. This is all the wood. It's been a massive job. Okay, look at that, it's all flat. It's all flat. Big heap of straw.
straw, grass, weed things, flats. Really, really happy with this. And now, step two. Step two is this. It's a wheelbarrow, it's a shovel, it's a big mountain of compost. And that's gonna be moved all over here. I think I'm probably gonna start underneath there because there's some shade over there. And then compost everywhere, compost everywhere. Oof, big job. Okay, got some cardboard going on. <laughs> um, I don't actually have a small piece like that, so I'm not quite sure what to do there. But I think I'm just gonna have to work a little bit more roughly and not too much perfectionist style because otherwise I'm probably not gonna get done anytime soon. All right, looking good. Yeah, so I'm putting the straw directly on the cardboard because there's seeds in the manure. <laughs> So I'm hoping that this will be okay. Let's see. All right, looking pretty good. Ah, oh, cardboard and straw. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. The compost manure is going really well. So I only need one wheelbarrow at the back and one wheelbarrow at the front. And it's about one meter width across. Um, two or three meters deep not really sure but yeah it's pretty good okay so here we go chopped wood it might not look like a lot but it is um i've already put two wheelbarrows back in the shed yes my i did so this is excellent really big chunks in there some of them are very light and some are very heavy lots of different types of wood uh most of them bug eaten <laughs> The electric uh, saw is working really hard, so it gets hot really quickly, but um, yeah, he's still working with it, so that's pretty good. And what I've done today, let's have a little look, some more wood over there. So I've covered this area here with um, cardboard, manure and straw. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that as well. It was very hot, so probably not the best day to do this, but... It got done, so it's pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Yeah, and then it's going to be hot for the next week or more, so I'm just going to carry on anyway, even despite heat. Smudgy will help. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, so straw land. Straw land is expanding. And this is the perfect end to a perfect day. Look uh, at them, so happy. Photo. Photo. <laughs> Film. Film. <laughs> Happy cat! <laughs> yeah, so we've done a lot of work. This thing, um, where's that thing gone? Oh, here it is. So this thing is broken or broken. Um, it can be fixed, but I'm really not sure if it's worth fixing. That one did a really hard job today, but um, the chain is not so good. The chain is blunt. Um, anyway, most of the wood got chopped pretty good going. Look who's up on the roof. That's Bailey. Now she's... I wonder if she... there she is. <laughs> I heard this little meow. And she's up on the roof. I haven't seen her up on the roof before, but clearly she's expanding her territory. Oh, cute cat. I think she's going to jump onto the low roof. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. It's probably going to come down this way. Hey, cat, where are you? Where's the Bailey? Bailey, there you are. Hey, hey, pretty. You want me to lift you down? Or do you want to find your own way? You want to lift? Oh, I can't, I just can't quite reach you. You might have to find your own way down. Okay, off you go. <laughs> You're such a pretty cat. Oh, I guess she's not done with the roof. There would be an easy way down, she'd just jump on there. But um, she's adventuring. 
And there's another kitty cat. Hey, cat cat. Smudgy's been up on the roof months ago, way ahead. Way ahead of Bailey adventure style and speed. She's obsessed with this garage. She really wants to get in there. But there's really nothing in there. It's just a cart. You know, I think I should make space in there and um, use it a little bit better. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, what a big belly. <laughs> Hi, Bailey. Have you got a belly? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well. Oh, she wants me to magic her down. Oh. Bailey has found a way off the roof. She's cleaning all the roof off her tummy, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't she the cutest little cat? She's holding on with her little claws over here. <laughs> hey, Bailey. Am I talking about you? Am I talking about you? Hello. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Just the cutest little munchkin. Yeah, she's had a big day out, so she's got to clean outside off. 